Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Leo. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. This is really similar to the Sagittarius reading, I have to tell you. So, I mean, if you are dealing with a Sagittarius, you should probably watch that one too. Um, or if you have Sagittarius in your chart. Um, I have the scythe, I have the coffin, and I have the tree which has been uprooted. The scythe is on its side. Um, I feel like somebody has been suspending uh, like it's like something's in suspension. It feels like something needs to go, but somebody, uh, yeah, something needs to end, you see. Something needs to go uh, so, uh, so that uh, a new uh, beginning can happen. Somebody has been suspending or avoiding or delaying looking at what the root issue was. The, the roots of this tree are exposed. Yeah. It could be that... Um, it could be that something happened... Uh, quite unexpectedly, there could have been a uh, a sudden break. Um, it looks like uh, it looks like somebody may have did something very quickly, very. Uh, uh, abruptly they may not have thought about something they said or done um, there is a recognition here uh, that something needs to change um, I feel like something was left undone which is very very similar to the Sag reading and I feel like it's through this person's actions, whatever was the driving force behind that, uh, whatever uh, the root issue was, which was not being looked at, which was responsible for that ending. And the ending happened because somebody kept delaying looking at what the real issue was. Now uh, they will be uh, questioning. You see... The Hierophant is flat on his face here at, at the foot of this death card, at the, of, of the death. Uh, here, I'll just show you. Look, he's flat. He's flat on his face. And the person's like, oh no, I'm going to have to look now, you know. I can't avoid this any longer. Something they believed uh, to be true. Or, um, uh, I mean... Something they believe to be true or uh, a belief they've been carrying for a long time uh, needs to be, uh, it's like it's changed. It's changed. Uh, it certainly has changed this situation, but it also needs to be changed. Both people were very hurt. Both people could have uh, some trust issues. Um, somebody here is wounded and uh, is looking at the other, uh, thinking maybe they're hiding something. So this could have been what was behind the initial uh uh, action or um, behind what it's like the bee in that person's bonnet it's like what was really bothering them it 
it feels like it could have happened uh, a lot. The Hierophant is face down. This could be uh, trust issues that come from childhood. They could have been around a long time. They, it's like uh, they had, uh, or there's a lot of experiences there behind them uh, that they've had, uh, but they may not have applied them in this case. This is a card of having to learn the hard way. Um, there were consequences uh, for the choice that they made. They made this choice uh, based, it was like an emotional response uh, from a wound that they carried. Or even that was uh, something that was imagined. There's a card of the imagination here, which is causing or was causing this person uh, a lot of, uh, of pain, um, a lot of disappoint, disappoint, a lot of disappointing uh, thoughts, uh, ideas that uh, the imagination, I feel like this person didn't have the facts, but believed that they did. It's like they didn't have the facts, and so the imagination, based on past experience, uh, comes in and fills in the blanks, and then it's like history repeats itself, is what happens. So this old way of thinking and believing, the, the belief system, needs, to be, needs a complete overhaul. It's why death is here. So it looks really bad in the moment with this card. This person is being carried off the battlefield. It's like uh, there's swords scattered everywhere. And it looks really bad, but uh, you see the, um, the sun here in the background. So um, there is still hope okay, um, that this can be brought back. And so um, there's a lot of confusion perhaps uh, around or, or surrounding uh, that ending. Um, they're looking at their options for the future. There could be confusion there. Um, I feel like they, they're looking at the options for the future and are imagining, uh, this person is prone to be up in their head a lot. So they, they, they're thinking a lot because they're imagining, they imagined what would happen in the past and now they are imagining what might possibly happen in the future. So, uh, really this person needs to change their mindset. They see they are they want a new beginning, but they don't know what will fill the cups. Will it be their fondest desires or will it be their darkest fears? Will there be betrayal? Will there be deception? Adjustments need to be made uh, with temperance in order for a healing to take place. Um, adjustments need to be made, uh, I feel, with, uh, with first in the mind uh, and, uh, and, and then when it comes to the emotional response to, to the thoughts they're having. But, I mean, it begins in the mind. Because it's the thoughts that you have that stir up the emotions and generates the response. You or they. So this king... 
Uh, here he is in the reverse, um, this uh, King of Wands. He didn't get what he wanted. Um, he actually lost something and could be feeling very bitter and resentful. He would have, um, he would have responded to something without thinking um, based on an old wound. Uh, a belief system that, or, or belief, yeah, belief system uh, that he's been carrying for a long time when it comes to relationships and uh, uh, betrayal and such. I feel this person has been very hurt in, in, in their past. They want to heal this relationship for sure. This is a soulmate uh, connection. And there is a lot of potential here once adjustments are made. But you see, in the past, they were not putting that effort into making the adjustments that were necessary, which would have been the healing of these old wounds, which would have been um, recognizing uh, recognizing uh, where uh, their thoughts were coming from, you know. Um, a willingness to, to look at these old wounds even. It feels like effort wasn't made. Uh, it's like they carried the wound and were carrying the wound and that wound created more wounds. It's like it festered, you know. And so they weren't willing to put that effort in the past. I feel like they just didn't want to look. Maybe it was too painful for them to go look. Maybe they didn't want any reminders, you know. They just prefer to block that out. And so um, they've been working on themselves, I feel. Um... um questioning uh, their past, questioning uh, the effort that they put in or didn't uh, put in, in this case. Um, they've been doing, uh, like they've, they've been asking themselves a lot of questions. Uh, and I, I feel this has a lot to do with uh, going back and finishing uh, something. Um, because uh, the seven, uh, seven of Pentacles here can be about finishing something you start. Should I put the effort? Yeah, they started something, but in the past, uh, they, didn't, they didn't put the effort to finish it. They, were, they became unwilling uh to or were unwilling to put any more effort or unwilling to work with someone unwilling to cooperate especially if they didn't think they were going to get what they wanted they there's a sense of this person needing control or needing to be in control And so um, I feel like this person has, has been um, doing a lot of thinking about going back to uh, finish what they started, something they, something they left unfinished, um, which again, it's very similar to that Sagittarius reading. But they've, they've been thinking, like really doing a lot of thinking and coming up with a plan. Um, and uh, I feel almost like 
they've been keeping silent about this plan or they intend to play their cards close to their chest when it comes to this plan to go back and finish something. So they will be uh, very careful. This is the knight who has the coin. He's currently not moving. He's reflecting, he's thinking um, about the idea. And he's thinking of planting it in the field. These fields are currently being plowed. So there's preparation here to, uh, to plant that coin or to plant that idea. Assessment and preparation. And he most, he's the knight who has the backup plan. You know, he's got a, a backup plan for a backup plan. He really thinks things through. So already just by that you can see that this person has experienced some growth just the fact that they're taking their time to think about this uh they're i, I you know wanting to go back and finish something they started uh which could also be uh a change for them because maybe to this point they never did you know uh finish you know what they started they're grieving i feel like uh there's a lot of regret over over this loss uh they they uh, this is like that woe is me type of energy they could have been sitting in that yeah over the Ten of Swords, which is down here and it's down, it's here, looking back to the past because the key with that Ten of Swords is looking back and learning from uh, their mistakes. And so here we have the Two of Swords. It's a time to reflect, to stop, and look within before you act. It's what they're doing. They are preparing. See, he stopped. He's reflecting. Um, he's got a backup plan for his backup plan. Um, uh, they have an important decision, you or them, uh, or choice, that affects or that could affect not just their life, but lives of others. And so they are thinking deeply. Because whatever they choose, they, they must accept the consequences. And they are struggling with that because of a possible threat. Yeah, and so they are trying to, they move from, you see where their thoughts are, there's a possible threat to getting back together, to making up, um, but they don't know this for sure, this is, a, this would be, that threat would be sitting in, in, a, in the cup of, a, of one of their fears, you know. They don't know this to be true. It's just that they're prone to negative thinking more than likely. And they've already lost so much and have been so hurt in their life that it's almost like they're expecting it, you know. And so here they are in that Four of Swords energy, uh, again, reflecting. Um, it's like a recuperation, preparing uh mentally uh and emotionally for what is yet to come for for a decision here for the future in the four of swords they know that the battle is not yet over it's it, it's just uh been suspended Okay, so something is in suspension. And look at this. It's just amazing. And so this is what 
this is what they dream of getting back together with look with their soulmate this was sitting here in the past and look it's here in their vision for the future in their the desired outcome is that <clears throat> and so they must get the courage um, and prepare both mentally and emotionally to go back this is a card of returning to the past returning home so it's returning to somebody who feels like home to finish what they started you see the tools that were left scattered they never completed something and now they wish to go back to the past have this uh, new beginning there's the communication there's something they look at that there's that card five of cups card of regret there's something they regret having said to you there's also something they want to say to you okay wow absolutely amazing that is what I have for you I thank you for watching for liking and for sharing my videos and for subscribing also thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation it is greatly appreciated many blessings to all of you